What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today we're talking about productivity. Staying on task, getting things done, being efficient, being effective, and not getting distracted. So recently I found this awesome little application called Why Productive. Why Productive is an awesome app that not only allows you to like manage tasks and track your time, but it allows you to categorize things as either effective or ineffective. It allows you to block certain things. It tracks every keystroke and thing you do on your computer and gives you a productivity rating as well as reports telling you how you spent your time and how you could change your time to spend it better. I love anything that helps me change my behavior and be more integrous and a harder worker and more effective and that's what Why Productive does. Let's take a look. Okay, we have Y Productive downloaded and installed on our computer and it is currently running. Um, if we wanna turn it on and start working, we're just gonna go up and hit focus mode and make sure that it's highlighted and on. Now it is currently tracking what I do on my computer. You're gonna have to, first time you do it, it'll ask for access and all that kind of stuff in your computer because it literally tracks everything you do. How many times you switch back and forth, it's gonna track all of that. And uh, the main thing you'll see is this tasks kind of category right here. Um, you can see uh, it will start tracking time. So I'm currently tracking all of this time. And uh, if I click on it, I can see everything that I did within that time constraint. So uh, it might be good to go back and find a different day where I was using Y Productive all day long. So here's a good example. So I can go back and find Thursday, you know, November 29th, and I can click and see the different things that I was doing during that time. Now the cool thing is you'll see these sliders pop up. I can just drag them over. If I know for a fact that between this, between one o'clock and two o'clock, I was, you know, doing a certain task, well, I can assign it to that task, which is, you're gonna say tasks? Tell me about tasks. Okay, let's do that. Um, we have tasks here and we can add new tasks, like maybe um, design a homepage. Okay, so now we have a new task. We can take those tasks and we can assign them to a project. We can create projects, for instance, like web design. We can take that task and we can assign it to web design, okay? And we can give it a due date if we want, like maybe like on that day, say save. And now when we go into web design, you can see all the tasks that are a part of that project. We'll see the total amount of time we've spent on it, you know, total productive time, and we get an average productivity rating, okay? So let's go back to our example. We can see uh, here on the scale, um, it says I've spent on task zero. This is the time I've worked on tasks that have already, I've already been established. So I could select a whole range of time and I can assign it to a, you know, um, a task that I did. And it's gonna turn that task blue. It's gonna say, hey, this is how much time I've spent and I have 82% productivity. Uh, working on that task, okay? So it's just a way for you to create tasks, organize those tasks into projects, and assign the time that you work to those tasks or those projects. The next thing you can do is you can see I have um, you know, things that I'm doing that are productive, like right now I'm screen recording or using Y Productive or using Sketch, those are all fine. But something that's unproductive is writing notes in Bear, right? Why, why is it categorizing that as productive versus unproductive? Well, I can go over to categories and you can see that I have different columns. I have uncategorized things and I have productive things and I have unproductive things. So bear has been kind of categorized as an unproductive thing. I shouldn't be doing that while I work. I shouldn't be watching Netflix while I work or using dribble or anything while I work, but things like sketch cloud, well, that's part of my work. So I want to slowly start adding these things into the things that are you know, productive versus unproductive. So why productive will start learning what those things are and then give me some sort of productivity rating. I can go to the next spot after categories and go to reports and I can run a report for maybe this, this month or last month and it'll give me a report and say, hey, these were, there was 13 hours, but it'll say, hey, you spent a total of 16 hours doing things while why productive was tracking you and 13 of that is without a project. So we're getting some sort of reporting as to how we spend our time. Time. So you can break it down by project or task, whole time frames and everything like that. But it's just a great and simple way to track what you do. Uh, if we open up the menu, you can see we have different extensions. Okay, what is it that the extensions do? I can open up the extension and it'll tell you it basically is a way for why productive working locally on your computer to connect to your browsers 
And if I try to go on Netflix, it's going to give me this big blocked screen. It's going to say no. I currently have the Y Productive extension running. So if I try to go to youtube.com, it's going to tell me no. That's not productive. You shouldn't be doing those things. So when you wander, it just helps bring you back and put you on the right path. So that's a nice thing. It also allows you right here from this main screen to find these uncategorized things that you're doing and immediately categorize them as either productive or unproductive. So um, just all around, like it's a nice experience. I'm pretty sure the Y Productive team is building in things like Pomodoro timers and other features, but even as it is right now, it allows me to set tasks that I need to do for the day. It's my task list while I'm at work. Um, I can assign them to different projects, and then I can, I'm able to say wholeheartedly to anybody that asks me, hey, what'd you spend your time doing? I can say, hey, I spent four hours in code you know, this morning, and then I spent another two hours doing this, and I spent another one and a half hours doing this, and I had to switch back and forth, so that time was unproductive. On days where I switch a lot, I'm doing a lot of little things, I'm less productive because I am spending more time switching and less time doing. So why productive is just really good at helping you and changing your behavior, and that's why I love it so much. Well, that's it, that's why productive in a nutshell. Helps you stay on task, helps you be productive, tracks you and calls you out when you're doing things you shouldn't. I love it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and tools that I use just like this one. So maybe stick around. Hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and staying on task. I'll see you in the next one.